What's up guys, it's the Vibe from Zalak Rata, welcome back to another character guide. Let's get right into it. Rock Lee, we're going to be covering from the Great Ninja War. I have a guide on PTS Lee, so if you want to check that out, you know, description below, character guide playlist, click right there, bam, you will see all my character guides. If you want to suggest a character, just know that it's going to take me a long time to make that character guide, but just be patient, it will be out eventually. Let's talk rap setups with Rock Lee. So, 8 hits into the down combo, as soon as he starts doing that little Copeira thingy, you guys just want to go for the grab. As soon as he starts doing that, you guys want to press R2 and circle, and you guys want to go for the grab. Uh, also, seven hits into the up combo. When he starts doing those kicks, you guys just want to go for the grab right after that, and that's also going to be a pretty safe grab setup. Unless the opponent has, like, superhuman reflexes, and, you know, he's using Minato, and, you know, he can obliterate you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, another tip that I can give you guys with this V, uh, his tilt is really, really good, and it lasts a long time, and it does some major damage. So, uh, actually, I'm just going to show you guys how much damage it does. It does more damage than your average tilt, I guess. Like, I don't know, I'm going to say 3% more damage, but hey, 3% damage matters in a fighting game, I guess. <laughs> All right, neutral combos. Two or three hits in, you guys can cancel out of. This guy is like PTSD, you know? As you guys can see, that's going to be three hits. Remember, every time that I say cancel, if you don't know what I mean when I say cancel, it means that you can go for a guard break cancel, an item cancel, just simply back away, or just simply cancel your combo. Five hits in. You guys can also cancel, as you guys are going to see right there. And you guys can also cancel seven hits in. So if you guys want to go for a defense down tag, I would recommend that you guys cancel seven hits in. Because, okay, I actually need to give Guy a beating because I need to get him to the center of the ring. Okay, I guess you don't want to get to the center of the ring. So I guess I'll just have to do the Rock Lee Tombstone. Um, but yeah, guys, let's talk, uh, let's talk Ultimate Jutsu setups. Uh, so five hits into the... Uh, what's, okay, guard went damage. Five hits into the neutral combo. You guys want to go for the ultimate. And if you guys don't time it correctly, you guys will not be able to land it. So it is one of those ultimates where you guys have to land it correctly. Okay, I'm going to get my fifth hit. Okay, I guess I'm not going to get the timing done on that one. But yeah, that's how badly you guys have to time this. So four hits and I'm going to go for it. You guys kind of do it at 4 hits or 5 hits. The ideal one is probably going to be 5 hits because like that you guys can get that little bit of extra damage. But if you guys just want to go for an ultimate cancel, just go for 4 hits. It's 10 times uh, safer. Uh, when it comes down to the leaf combo attack, it's a completely different story. 2 hits in, you guys can go for an ninjutsu cancel as well as 5 hits in as well as um, 7 hits in. So if you guys want to do like some major damage, I recommend that you guys go for the leaf combo attack. 7 hits in, because that's probably going to do as much damage as an ultimate, as you guys are going to see right now. Okay, so I'm going to get 7 hits, and then I'm going to go for the lead combo attack. And okay, not as much damage as an ultimate, but it is some pretty good damage. With that said, let's move on forward to Lee's up combo. 7 hits in, you guys can just cancel out of that when he's doing those little kick thingies, as you guys can see right there. Now, if you guys want to get a defense down tag in, as soon as he starts doing those little kicks, you guys just want to cancel and then go for the defense down tag, which I, I know, I fucked it up. Sorry about that. Don't punch me, please. Uh, but yeah, he's going to start doing those kicks and then I'm going to go for the tag. I actually got a late on that one, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Rock Lee's infinite combo, uh, it's going to be with the down combo. Yes, he does have an infinite combo, and it's pretty easy. Not as easy as Shikamaru's infinite combo, which I did a guide on. And if you guys want, you can check it out in the character guide playlist. Um, but yeah, seven hits in. You guys can cancel out of that when he starts doing those little kick thingies. Now, to get the infinite combo, I'm actually just going to put the computer on guard. When Rock Lee starts doing those little spinning, thing spinning kick thingies, you guys just want to press X. And then you guys want to start up the um, down combo again. So spinning X and then I'm going to go for it again. As you guys can see, it's a pretty easy infinite combo. Like this is easier than Sasuke from the last, I think, in my opinion. Because sometimes, you know, the Sasuke from the last infinite combo is kind of hard to land. Uh, especially if you're not extremely skilled at the game. Also... Uh, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not extremely confident because I did not write, I did not write it in my notes. Okay, yeah, you cannot go for an ultimate jutsu or an ninjutsu in the down combo. Um, I do want to let you guys know, now that we're talking about ultimate jutsu cancels, so let me just mention this because I know there's going to be a hardcore Rock Lee player out there who's going to mention, 
I mean, point this out. Uh, if you guys do the mid-air combo, you guys can cancel out of it and sometimes land the ultimate, but I don't really recommend that because chances of landing that is, you know, pretty, pretty low, unless you just time it correctly. Uh, when it comes down to awakening, I don't give tips on awakening. I don't like to cover awakenings unless they give something special to the player. Like, for example, uh, the Reikage's freaking, uh, what's this thing called? Teleportation, Danzo's one-hit kill, all of that good stuff. But anyways, you guys want me to give you some tips on awakening, so... Um, the best tip I can give you guys in Rock League's Awakenings, this dude has increased speed, first of all, when he awakens, but I'm pretty sure all of you guys don't really want me to tell you the obvious. But yeah, no, tip number one in Awakening, if you guys can, go for the infinite combo in Awakening. As you guys can see, it's going to do massive, massive damage, as you guys can see, almost a full freaking bar. Obviously, when you're in Awakening, you want to get the best out of your character. Also, keep in mind that the dynamic entry is extremely overpowered, and I did lose to that dynamic entry one time in a ranked episode. So, um, yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, last but not least, when it comes down to when it comes down to strike back tactics, you guys can land an ultimate. I don't know if you can land an Injutsu. Didn't really experiment with it that much. I missed like five times. Um, and the tilt, you can land it, but it's kind of glitchy and you're not going to be able to pull off the full tilt sometimes. So I would recommend, guys, just go for the easy uh, stuff. Go for the... Oh, okay, for some reason I did not want to go for the ultimate. But yeah, just go for the ultimate after a strike back. It's pretty, pretty simple. And as you guys can see, it's going to land. Hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, feel free to drop it a mango, a pear, a like. Feel free to subscribe to join the Sabahe Cartel. And drop this video some hard curry as well. Peace out, guys.